Welcome to ABC News Sunday, I'm Eleni Roussos. Indigenous leaders and the federal opposition leaders say governments have long ignored a series of recommendations about how to keep Indigenous youngsters out of the justice system. But the federal and Northern Territory governments deny they've cut funding for youth diversion programs. Jane Barden reports from the Gama Festival in North East Arnhem Land. At the Gorma Festival's Youth Forum, these children are Indigenous Australia's hope. Kids from all over Arnhem Land, engaged, inquisitive and nurtured by their parents, met their peers from Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane. I love my culture and I love sharing it with everyone that comes here every year. But many Indigenous leaders here have watched families break down and their children sent to youth detention centres, places they've now learned are not safe. We've got petrol sniffers, we've got people who breaks into the shops and anywhere else, and we, honestly, we don't want to send them to a four-wall prison. Bandak Marika wants families and communities given more support and youth justice diversion programmes to keep young people out of detention. People need to think about, all right, how can we help this family? How can we work with them one on one? The federal opposition leader pointed out that solutions for keeping children out of detention have been recommended by numerous inquiries since 2007. A lot of these solutions have already been proposed, but if you cut social services to the bone, if you don't provide options for the courts, for the police to help send young people in other directions, then we are creating the circumstances of inevitable failure. Bob Beedman made some of those recommendations. I'd like to see the money spent in a more intensive program of working with parents uh, to encourage them to uh, parent better, to address what I see as a widespread failure of parenting. And it's that failure of parenting that's seeing kids on the street uh, and getting into strife and ending up in Dondale. Instead, youth diversion program funding has been cut. Will you now find money for those programmes or are you going to wait another year for this Royal Commission to tell you that again? Well, first of all, I, I don't think it's reasonable just to accept broadly that we don't have any programmes. That is clearly not the case. Well, the calls are listened to and there's a lot of programmes out there. The opposition and Aboriginal leaders had wanted two Indigenous members to join Brian Martin on the Youth Detention Royal Commission, but the government has ruled that out. The Indigenous Affairs Minister says the Royal Commission won't further delay movement towards solutions. The Royal Commission, I hope, won't take a year. Uh, I understand it's sometime in, in, in March uh, next year. Uh, but in the interim, we are continuing to speak to organisations. For Indigenous leaders, the solutions can't come soon enough. Jane Barton, ABC News, Arnhem Land.